Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Let's Complete the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. In the last episode, we completed Clavicus Vile's quest. We got the Mask of Clavicus Vile, which I've gone and dropped off back at Whiterun, uh, so we're not lugging around a whole load of stuff. And we also killed Solochnir with Delphine, as uh, she finally believes we're Dragonborn, and she's run off to try and think of a plan while we, uh, you know, do more important things. So I've walked over to Mazolf, so you don't have to watch me walk for the first five minutes of the episode. So let's head on inside and explore. That's where we're going, but there's also this little side dwarven storeroom, so I thought we'd check that out first as well. Um, Azolf is a really great place to get a whole load of resources in order to grind out smithing, uh, so I will definitely be coming back here. Oh, Dwemer Convector, yeah, we won't be using that for a while, but that is important. But yeah, look, all of these uh, Dwemer Metal Scraps, they are very useful uh, when it comes down, it comes time to grind, so I'll be doing that in my own time. So. Let's see if we can uh, lockpick this door, because you can see just, just to the right there, there's a, some, something that's glowing, light blue, uh, which looks very interesting and I would like. So, <laughs> this is an expert lock, so pretty difficult, but hey, even failing gives us lockpicking progress, so that's something, right? <laughs> oh man, this, this lock is actually pretty difficult. I mean, where, where's the sweet spot? Sweet spot, come on. You're not even giving me anything, game. Oh, oh, okay, there it is. We found it. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I spoke too soon. <laughs> Is it a little more, a little bit more right? I think. Oh. 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 Okay, there we go. Excellent. There we go. Lock picking increase. Yay. Got anything else over here? No. And oh, it's level up as well. Excellent. We have a glowing crystal shard, worth a hundred. Identify the crystal shard, which we will do. But not quite yet. So yeah, we've got a whole load of uh, Dwemer metals here, but we don't need those quite yet. So and also we can't afford to take them. <laughs> uh, I will come back and make multiple trips <laughs> in order to uh, ferry all of that backwards and forwards. Because yeah, if you don't know, the best way to grind out smithing is, I mean, there are multiple methods. You can either do the gold ring method, and you can also get some alteration for that as well um, by uh, transmuting iron ore into silver and then silver into gold using a spell. Or you can uh, do the Dwarven Bow method, uh, where you essentially just make Dwarven Bows. You used to, back when Skyrim first came out, be able to just make Iron Daggers, and you'd, it was like the fastest skill to level up, but they patched that. <laughs> so you can't do that anymore, but Iron Daggers is still the best place to start, and then you go to Dwarven Bows. Uh, you can also then go up to Ebony Bows as well, but Ebony is a lot harder to come by than Dwarven Metal. But yeah, Mazolt is one of the best places to find Dwarven Metals, so... That's pretty good. We've got a dead guy over here, dead adventurer, with the Ethereum Wars on his person. Mm, very interesting book. Let's just uh, keep keep that in, the, in our back pocket. You know, we'll read that at some point. And into Mazolf we go. Crystal. Gone. <coughs> Find. Paratus. In Oculory. <coughs> Oh, what perfect timing! He died right as we walked through the door. How very convenient. We have Mazolf key and a research log. Let's read that log. I feel like it would have been more realistic to like have him already dead and like maybe a scribbled note next to him. I feel like that would have been better, but hey, anyway. Research log. Attendant Gavros, the council has become aware of the lack of progress in your group's efforts. They are particularly displeased to learn that your specifications for the focusing crystal were completely incorrect. The entire Binder's Conclave has worked tirelessly, and the Council is quite sure this new crystal will suit your needs. You are herewith entrusted with delivering the crystal to the site, completing your work, and delivering a full report to the Council with all possible haste. The Council trusts you will deliver the crystal to the Oculary personally, and that there will be no further complications. First Adjunct Oronet, Oronrel. Well, Paradis cannot do that. No, not, not Paradis. <laughs> Gavros, we need to find Paradis, yes. Uh, in the, in the oc oculary, but yes, Gavros cannot do that because uh, he's dead, but in his stead we will take over. So, I would really like to try and get some more sneaky sneaks, so let's uh, equip our steel dagger and also put Conjure Flame Matronach in our right hand, or left hand, sorry. Yeah, because I would really like to level up our sneak. I mean, I do have plans that will allow us to level up our sneak better, but there's a trap there. It's going to bring spikes down from the ceiling, which clearly this man did not see. But, hey, that means we can take his stuff, so it's all good. Um, but yeah, I do have a plan that will allow us to level up our sneaky sneaks more, but yeah, it's just not happening right now. Can we, I mean, yeah, this place is way, way too well lit, but we'll give it a go, I suppose. Oh, 
Oh, okay, we did get a sneak. Yeah, see? <laughs> okay, yeah, we are detected. Well, we'll summon Blaze and we'll go at them with a dagger at least, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, our dagger's not doing anything really. We do not have the perks. Yeah, I think it's probably better to still stick with, um, stick with magic for now. And yeah, I suppose it does, uh, it does fit. You know, we are doing the Mage's Guild, of course. Uh, let's do dual casting. Yeah, we really need some more restoration perks, don't we? In fact, why don't we take this opportunity to level up? So, I think we'll... I, I mean, we've got enough Magicka, it's just the Magicka regen that's the problem, so I think let's put some more points into health. And, can we do any more restoration perks? We can do restoration dual casting, or... our ah, recovery! Magicka regenerates 25% faster. That is exactly what we want. Yes, we are going to do that. Okay, excellent. Blaze, you're all good, and yeah, I think we'll just switch back to magic now, because we just don't have... <laughs> we, yeah, we, we don't have the perks for sneak or... Uh, one-handed yet. We will eventually, soon, I have plans for that, but not quite yet. So I suppose we can sneak a little bit, at least until we're found out. It may give us a few sneak points, you know, because it, it does actually give us sneak points by just, you know, moving around a, a thing. Oh, hi, okay. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> yeah, sneak is, sneak is done. Oh, why, did we, did we kill them in one go? I don't, no, I don't think so. No, he, he went over there to uh, go after Blaze instead. You, you got him? Yeah, good job, Blaze. Okay, Blaze is gone. See? See, that's what I like about summons, you know? They just, they come and then they and then they leave. You know, they do the job and then they leave and that's that's it. And they don't even talk either, which is great. <laughs> because, yeah, when other people talk, it distracts me. So we've got a potion here and we have a trapped door here. So let's unlock the trap trigger so we don't get spiked up the bum, which is what these little holes in the floor are. They're gonna, yeah, put spikes up our ass, which is not what we want. <laughs> not at all, that's uh, not what I like to do. Oh yeah, locking increase, nice. And I think there's just gonna be a treasure room. Yes, indeed it is. We have another dwarven spider worker, but that's no match for my uh, super cool spell. I love this spell so much. <laughs> it's so cool. Uh, and it means that we don't have to like switch. That was a really shitty chest, by the way, with only two gold. But it, yeah, it means we don't have to switch spells like when we have a an, an enemy that's resistant to fire or anything because it does both fire and shock at the same time, which is excellent. So anyone else home? Mm -hmm. Any more automatons? Or perhaps some Falma? Oh, yep, there we go, we've got some automatons. Yes, uh, have we seen Falma in this Let's Play yet? I do not think so. So yeah, the Falma are uh, blind, degenerate elves, pretty much. Uh, there's a lot more to it than that, but yeah, they were... I mean, the, the long and short of it is that they were... Well, they made a very poor decision <laughs> to attack the Nords. That went south very, very quickly. Uh, they then sought refuge with the underground dwelling Dwemer, which is the ruins we're in right now. The Dwemer disappeared a very long time ago. Uh, exactly how or why is com so completely unknown by anyone to this day. Oh look, Chorus, lovely, my uh, one of my least favourite enemies in Skyrim just because they're so disgusting. Oh, and we're out of magic, they're also quite powerful beasts. Uh, although they haven't managed to hit us yet, which is not too bad. Oh, okay. Oh, a destruction increased to 41, that's nice. We have run out of place to, places to back up into, <laughs> which is not so good. We could summon Blaze, but we've nearly finished him off, so... Oh, he's... Oh, no, you're running. Oh, no, no, that, that's not gonna work for me, buddy. Yeah, see? That didn't work out too well for you. You should've just stood and fight. Okay, yeah, but... So, yeah, the Dwemer disappeared. I, no one really knows why. I mean, there's a lot of uh, more likely theories, but, yeah, they, they disappeared um, a very long time ago, like, back in the first era, and now we're back... We're in the fourth era, so, yeah, that was a long, long time ago. Um, and, yeah, the Falmer, they, they kind of... Again, there's a lot of theories as to how the Falmer, the Falmer got into how they were today. Because uh, they used to be, you know, like the sentient races, like the Dark Elves and the High Elves, they used to be just as intelligent, but then they degenerated and there's a lot of theories as to why, but yes, we, they, we will see them later on in this dungeon, so. Yeah, and they're also uh, incredibly annoying, because <laughs> they are, there's always a lot of them, and they also do an awful lot of damage. Uh, considering they're uh, like blind ground elves and they are blind as well that is an actual game mechanic which is cool um you know it's not just kind of like you know they say they're blind but they're not really they are actually blind and it is a game mechanic um oh we've been poisoned oh no <laughs> uh, who else is it oh okay whoa oh my god <laughs> okay i was making fun of the poison but okay no that's actually uh <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's quite a big thing. I, I also, um, I bought some uh, cure disease potions as well, by the way. Should have bought some cure poison potions, I suppose. Okay, you know what? Let's, uh, let's get Blaze out. Oh no, we can't get Blaze out because we're out of Magicka. Okay, well, let's just give this guy the run around. <laughs> when can we summon Blaze? Okay, there we go. Blaze, you deal with him. While I, oh, increase, nice. 
Um, yeah, it is interesting that them being blind is an actual game mechanic. Uh, so if you walk past, uh, you, they can't see you if you walk past light sources. You know, light sources don't affect detection. They can still hear you, uh, so they can still detect you. But yeah, the light sources don't matter when dealing with the farmer, which is very interesting. Um, it's nice that they actually implemented that because all too often Bethesda doesn't really do that and they just kind of you know, say like, oh yeah, they're totally blind and they don't actually implement that, so it's nice. Okay, let's keep on moving. Uh, but yeah, we will be seeing the Falmer later on in this dungeon. Ah! Oh, damn it, I didn't get telekine telekinesis, didn't I? Oh, damn it. <laughs> We're not quite at that point yet, but yes, I remember, um, yeah, the last couple of Let's Plays. I wanted to use telekinesis to go and get a key that is in one of the areas. Obviously, we haven't quite got to it yet, but yeah, I don't have telekinesis, which is a shame, but oh well, it's a very small feature in the grand oh. scheme of things. Yeah, telekinesis is one of those kind of, uh, it's a bit more of a gimmicky spell. Okay, Blaze has disappeared, that's great. Poor timing, Blaze, but hey, you, you do a good job when you're here, so that's good enough, I suppose. Let's uh, shout this guy. It's not going to uh, throw him off his feet, because he doesn't have any feet, he's a rolly ball. <laughs> But it will at least stun him, which is good. Nearly got him. Come on, one more. One more go. Excellent, thank you. And, yeah, solid Dwemer metal. They make a lot of uh, Dwemer ingots, but they weigh a lot. <laughs> and, yeah, we don't have the biggest amount of carry weight. But, yeah. Damn, I should have got telekinesis. So, well, I mean, we wouldn't even be able to cast it at this point anyway. But, yeah. It's a very small feature. Telekinesis is one of those. There's quite a lot of, like, gimmicky spells in Skyrim, which most of them just aren't really that useful. Like, you know, fear and fury, that like, they're really cool. It, it's cool that you can, you know, kind of set your enemies or even friends against each other. Necklace of Magicka, oh, that's cool. Um, but it, it's just not really useful in, like, in practice, because it's like, yeah, okay, you know, you can make them fight, and that's all cool and everything, but you could also just kill them, <laughs> you know? It's kind of just delaying the inevitable, so... Unless you're playing on, you know, Legendary, and even then it's not really worth it on Legendary because you most likely just, just, just die before you even <laughs> get any further, so... You know, and then there's like Detect Life and stuff as well, which I mean, you really don't need Detect Life at all, like... <laughs> uh, I will concede that there was one time that we did use it in Oblivion, that it was actually helpful, and I will concede that that was useful, that one singular time. <laughs> However, that was one very specific instance, and they, those instances don't really exist in Skyrim, so it's just not... It's, it's really not needed, and especially once you get a lot of sneak, you, you don't need to detect life. <laughs> not at all. Uh, and it also doesn't even detect most things, so... Because, you know, it only detects life, so it can't detect automatons and things. I think you can get a perk where it does upgrade to that thing. Um, so you can detect, like, automatons and the undead, I think, as well. Oh, light armor increase. Yay, that's cool. Damn, yeah, we really need we need more match for regen, man. <laughs> but we're doing okay. We're probably good at dodging these guys, I suppose. I probably should have said that. Famous last words and all, but hey, it turned out alright. Okay, have you got anything for me? Yeah, I'll, I'll leave you leave all the metal. We don't really want to bog ourselves down with that. So I think Mazolft is one of the bigger dwarven ruins. Although they're all quite big, to be honest. Uh, it's kind of the nature of dwarven ruins. They're very very expansive, I suppose. Um, but yeah, I love the, these pillars because they're like they're made in the face of the Dweller. Cool little, cool, cool little feature, I suppose. Anyone anyone down here? Yep, we've got more, more Dwarven Spiders. Hi guys. I almost feel like, I don't know, like, our spells aren't really doing as much damage to these guys I would, as I would like. Um, but yeah, I suppose they are automatons, so perhaps magic doesn't do as much damage. I'm not really sure the mechanics of that because I, I know there are there's like a whole load of you know pokemon type weaknesses that all the enemies have so like you know fire works best against the undead and they're resistant to frost which makes sense and you know so i know that the, all of those things are a, a thing <laughs> i just don't really pay attention to them too much because i mean you don't really need to to be honest on lower difficulties when you're on legendary oh good god do you need to pay attention to that <laughs> although to be honest even then it still doesn't really matter because Legendary is such a ridiculous difficulty that you're just going to die anyway. <laughs> you know, like you have to use like sneak a lot in Legendary and it's just, yeah, Legendary is a completely bullshit difficulty. I don't really know what they were thinking with that. It's not very, not very well fine-tuned. We've got a whole load of pressure plates here, but we can just jump on over those. And have we got anyone over here? Yeah, another another sphere or a roly-poly a roly as I like to call them. <laughs> it's annoying that we can't shout these guys because... Who's 
Roger. It would be amazing to shout him off there, but hey, it, it stuns him a tiny bit, I suppose. It's <gasps> better than nothing, I suppose. You know, these guys don't do a huge amount of damage either, which is yeah, a little bit disappointing. I would like to um, mention that we, the uh, <gasps> the dwarven centurions that we saw in Morrowind are very funny looking because uh, they're just so small. Because like, I mean, the spiders and the spheres actually look pretty much exactly the same, uh, which is pretty cool. But the <laughs> Oh no, oh, oh no, that's fine. I thought it was the cock, but no, that's fine. Uh, but yeah, the, <laughs> the Centurions, uh, they're tiny. They're like our size, whereas Centurions are actually supposed to be like at least double the height of a person, sometimes like ten times the size. <laughs> and yeah, the ones in Morrowind are teeny tiny, which is, I just think, very funny. <laughs> uh, and also the Dwarven Spiders in Morrowind, they're like, they literally aren't spiders. So here we have our first foul mother. So yeah, you can see, they have no eyes, they are blind. I mean, I think they do technically have eyes, but they just don't work. <laughs> so we have a steel mace of sparks, just a whole load of stuff. Centaurian dynamo core, which is really cool looking. They're completely useless and they don't do anything, but they they look cool. So hang on, I wanted that ruby, thank you. But yeah, the, um, the dwarven spiders in Morrowind, they literally aren't spiders. <laughs> because they only have six legs. So like, that they're, they're not spiders, because spiders have eight legs. So I don't, I don't understand why they did that. I don't know if they're supposed to have, like, may maybe two of them are hidden somewhere. I, I don't know what the logic is behind that. But anyway, into the Mazolfed Boilery and those Falmer are placed there as kind of a, oh, you know, you're going to have to deal with Falmer soon. So, you know, get get ready. We've got a whole lot of stuff here. I don't really know who killed these guys. I assume the Falmer or perhaps the, uh, the Synod, although the Synod don't really seem to be... <laughs> dealing with these guys very well, so I would assume the Falmer. Uh, which is interesting that, uh, you know, because the Falmer and the Dwarven Automatons do, like, sometimes they fight each other, but sometimes they work together, depending on the dungeon. And, so yeah, look, 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 so this guy, right, if I stand in the light, okay, he's detected me anyway, but the point is, is that I could stand in this light, and it wouldn't affect his protection of me, he can only hear me. Um, but yeah, he's blind. Oh, I've been poisoned, oh, for God's sake. Yeah, we probably do need some uh, poison resistance, but hey, that's a little way off yet. Got another Synod researcher with absolutely nothing. I mean, if, if they're going to die, they could at least die with something on them, you know, <laughs> so that I can loot it afterwards. So I feel that's, that's only fair, it's just common courtesy, you know. If you're going to die, leave something for the person who finds your body, you know. This is just how it is, you know. I've got to clean up after you and come through and clean up the mess that you made, and you're not even going to leave me a little present? Come on, you know, I feel like, you know, it's just, just how it should be. Damn, I keep trying to sneak roll, but <laughs> we do not have our sneak roll yet, and it's quite a way off, so. Oh, yeah, look, see, so we're standing in the light, and he can't see us. Whereas usually, they see us immediately. So the only thing that affects detection is if we move. So, I mean, again, I don't really know why I'm going around into the corner, because, like I said, he can't, <laughs> he can't, he can't hear us, or can't, he can't see us. But, let me try, can we, okay, if we, uh, yeah, we go into walking mode rather than running because walking and running does actually affect our detection at this rate can we get a sneak attack oh okay he's begun to d d detect us no 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 no. see how could how does he know where we are oh okay yeah no okay that that did not work <laughs> Damn, oh my god okay yeah this man is powerful yeah the Falmora are like kind of weirdly powerful to be honest yeah, okay, that did not work. Why are we... Oh, right, because we're still... <laughs> yeah, we were still walk walking slowly. Um, yeah, I thought you'd frozen us, but no, no. Yeah, these bows, you really have to watch out for the Falmer bows, because I don't know why, but they just do so much damage. Like, so, so much damage. Like, one Falmer arrow can absolutely ruin your day. <laughs> they snipe you from all over the place. Uh, again, especially on Legendary, although, to be honest, like, a fork will ruin your day on Legendary. <laughs> Someone could throw a throw a bowl at you <laughs> and it just kills you instantly. Someone can just sneeze on you and it kills you in Legendary. It's ridiculous. Okay, guys, so do any of you want to let me sneak up on you? I don't think so. No, our sneak's just not good enough. But yeah, it is interesting that the light doesn't... See, like, why isn't this guy detecting me? <laughs> I don't know. Can we get them both in once? Oh. Well, we are setting both on fire. Oh, no, 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 don't, don't do frost. No, stop the frost. I don't like the frost. The frost is very annoying. Please don't do that. I do not do not consent to the frost. Any other type of magic is fine, but not the frost, please. And thank you. We've got an expert gate with nothing but dead automatons behind it, but hey, it's lockpicking progress, so we're going to open it anyway. Oh, okay. Or not. 
Our lock picks up different a different opinion. Oh, okay, there we go. Yeah, it is it is interesting that in some places the Dwarven automatons attack the Falmer and other places they work together. That is interesting. I'm not really sure the logic behind that. I don't know what makes that happen, but yeah, that's very interesting. I may as well take a oh no, I don't want the gear. <laughs> I don't want Dwemer gear, you can't uh, you can't melt those down. I may as well take some of the smaller Dwemer metals though. because uh, it'll help us later on. Um, so it means it'll, there'll be less food to carry when I come back to collect everything. Take those imp stools as well, why not, right? And let us continue onwards. So is there, is there another tripwire down here? No. I'm thinking of another another place, I suppose. We've got a chest here. This is a Falmer chest. You can tell because there's made out of like chorus. Oh, hi! Speaking of, speaking of curious, sorry, sorry buddy. I, uh, completely, I didn't mean to ignore you there. I'm sorry about <gasps> that. I just didn't see you, you know? I was too busy looking at your, um, uh, is this chest made of your brother, maybe? Sorry about that. Yeah, sorry. It didn't mean to be too, so insensitive. Yeah, they're made out of, like, chorus shells or whatever they're called. I, I don't really know. But yeah, there we go. Killed that guy. I don't know how I missed him, but <laughs> I did. Too busy looking for treasure. Uh, so, anyone else here? Hi, guys. Okay, we've got more Falmer here. Hi. I, uh, I killed no. your, uh, your, your bug, uh, bodyguard. He wasn't very good at it, to be honest. But, um, hey. Oh, we set off some sort of trap. <laughs> Or I think they might have set off their own trap, to be honest, which is pretty funny. Um, we've got the destruction increase, which is great. We are out of magic here yet again, though. <laughs> which is getting very old very quickly. Where, where are you going, buddy? Are you running away? No, 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 no. We can't, we can't have that. Don't run away. Are you, are you dead? Oh, it's showing me the wrong health bar again. See, we've got another chorus over here somewhere. Where are you? Huh? Okay, I, I think they're in the next room, so we'll let them come to us. I'm not going to go chasing them down, because then we'll have to come all the way back. So let's loot this place, and uh, we'll let them come to us. And then we'll go and find out what they want. Is there anything, anything in here? Yes, we've got another chest. Uh, fairly decent stuff, I suppose, considering we're still fairly low level. Okay, guys. Who's, uh, yeah, here we go. They're, now they've come around. Yeah, there's no point chasing them down. Let them come to us. We've got a, uh, a Falmer with a staff, which means they're cut above the rest of the Falmer. Uh, they're usually the, like, Shaman. Oh, oh no. Oh no, she's using... Oh, she's using shock. That's not good. Not good at all. Okay, let's, uh... No, 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 let's stay out of her way, because if she's gonna keep using shock, we can't summon things. Okay, let's summon Blaze, and then we're gonna have to switch over to our dagger, because, yeah, she's about to ruin her life. <laughs> let's throw her away. We are quite low on health. Let's, yeah, Falma Skulker, yeah, they are quite powerful. But, me and Blaze together, we did it. Great job, great job, hon. Where's, where's this other guy still? We need to, uh, need to heal. Hi! You're still alive? Oh, good shot, buddy. <laughs> A little bit too early there. Oh, yeah. I'm not, I'm not really sure that, uh, swing was quite strong enough to throw him all the way back. Maybe, maybe Blaze at the same time, but... Hey, there we go. Okay, yeah, shock magic is... <laughs> Also going to ruin our life. We've got a another restoration increase though. I feel like restoration is going up so quickly this up but later. Uh, which is nice though because yeah, restoration is a bitch and a half to try and level up. We've got another Synod researcher who still has nothing. I've uh, got some uh, Rock Warbler eggs. Uh, please don't block me in Blaze. Good job, good job. Yeah, honestly, best companion ever. <laughs> Alright, trust me, I don't hand out that title very often so you should be honoured, Blaze. You really should be. You got any, got any chests back here? No, no chests, okay. Well, moving onwards then. Hi, hi guys. Anyone else through here? But yet another chorus. In fact, let's uh, summon Blaze again so that she can help us out. Um, oh, right in front of us. Well done. Oh, I don't want to actually. Oh, well, shit. I think we're actually. <laughs> yeah, I think we actually just killed Blaze. Oh well. Never mind. We can kill the chorus anyway. We have a chest up here. Uh, okay, that was a weird, <laughs> weird magic glitch there. Anything? this chest not really but sure i'll take it anyway and ah yes here we go here's the uh here's the key room that i was talking about we have a guy over here that we should deal with before we go uh trying to unlock any doors and loot places so good night do you have anything for me eh not really to be honest but yes so you can see there is a key right there right above my cursor thing so yeah if you have telekinesis you can uh bring it towards you with magic and then take it because it opens this door, which is a master lock, which is obviously quite difficult. 
Yeah, we don't have the telekinesis spell. And I don't think, even if we had it, I don't think we have enough magic to cast it yet. Um, so it's not that useful anyway. But yeah, that's what you can do. Oh, oh my god, yes. <laughs> first time. First time with a master lock. That's amazing. And the little lock walk on. Excellent. Alteration increased to 22. We are making good progress on our skills. Yeah, we'll take that key anyway. And there's nothing really in here. So. But hey, we got a lock. We got a lock picking increase, and that's that's really what we wanted. Yeah, yeah. It's not about the treasure. It's it's about lock picking progress we gain a, along the way. That's that's the new motto. Um, so anything through here? An expert door. Oh, that opens with the key. Hi. We've got a chorus in here. Don't know what he's doing locked in here. We locked you in here, buddy. That seems seems a bit mean <laughs> to lock you in there all by yourself. But uh. Hey, we do, were you on timeout? Did you, uh, did you bite your brothers? Was, it, was that why? Yeah, I think pro probably just misbehaving, you know? Maybe, maybe he was on guard duty, perhaps he was an elite chorus, who knows? Uh, we'll never know, because he's dead, and also he's a, a bug, so he can't tell us anyway. Is there anything, anything in here, or is this just kind of a waste of time? Okay, we do have a chest. Oh, with another lock, okay, I see. Okay. <laughs> I mean, we got the master lock on the first try, but not the apprentice lock, that, that makes sense, totally makes sense. Anything in here? Eh, okay, yeah, some pretty expensive jewellery, so that's nice, I suppose. Now, we do need to uh, need to find some better merchants, because the ones in white brown are just not cutting it. Okay, let's uh, summon Blaze to help us out here. And, you know what we can do after this? We can actually raise... Uh, oh, oh we, while Blaze is dealing with them, let's just <laughs> unlock this chest. But yeah, we can raise one of the Falmer to help us in the next room. Anything in here? Eh, yeah. All right. Oh yeah, level up as well. Level up in the bank. That's excellent. Yeah, I think we want to raise her afterwards. The one with the glowy sword, because uh, she is the powerful one. Uh, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> Just like warding right in my face. I feel like that's not really the best idea. But sure. What are you doing, hun? She's like coming straight at me just so that she can put a ward in my face. <laughs> that's so weird. Or is it frost? I don't. I don't know what she's even trying to do. But you kind of in the way, hun. You're kind of getting a, getting on my nerves. But sure. Okay. Okay, anyone else? We saw a guy over here somewhere. Where are you? Oh, you're hiding behind here? What are you doing there? What are you doing? Hiding? You're letting your, um, letting your girlfriend deal with us by yourself? This doesn't seem very fair. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Point blank shot and a very glitchy execution animation. Just what we always wanted, right? Okay, let's get our reanimate corpse and raise this girl up. I mean, she's only a Falma. But she still, uh, you know, has the magic, so we'll raise her up and that does get rid of Blaze, but hey, that's fine, because she could be of some help. So, we've got anything else over here, we've got some metals that we can take, and I think there's uh, another secret room over here. Oh, I hear a chorus. So, oh, okay, that was trapped, did not see that. Hi! Oh, a chorus hunter fledgling, specifically. Yeah, these guys are quite strong. Uh, you wanna, you wanna help me out, hun? Yeah? <laughs> You know, you, you want to help and not just, you know, walk around? That would be, that'd be great if you could actually help. Unfortunately, we are hurting her when we set this guy on fire. But yeah, wow, she's actually no help at all, isn't she? You gonna, you gonna help? Yeah. Oh, where's your sword gone, hon? Like, okay, there we go. She's using magic. That, that's better. Why are you just going at him with your fingernails? I feel like, you know, where, where's your conjured sword at? You had a cool conjured sword before. Can she not conjure it when she's like a summon? I guess not. Maybe. I don't know, I don't use necromancy a huge amount, so maybe they can't use their summons when they're raised, but I feel, like, I feel like they can. I don't know, maybe she's just too weak, I'm not sure. Strange. Anyway, what is in here that was so important that they had this guy guarding it? Eh, some good loot there, could maybe disenchant some of that. Anything else? Got some potions, some more metals, some dead dwarven spiders and stuff. You know, just the usual, pretty much. Okay, excellent, let's keep moving. Yeah, she wasn't really that helpful, to be honest. Oh well, let's uh, get Blaze back out again. I really want to be doing necromancy rather than full-on conjuration, but... Hey, conjuration is also very cool. Although I would like to... I mean, I'd like to upgrade from Blaze. Not, not you know, let's not tell Blaze that. <laughs> you know, she's very cool, but I feel like there are cooler things than a Flame Atronach, so... I don't really know. But yeah, I think Flame Atronach is still better than, like, a... You know, like a skeleton or a ghost or something, so... Yeah, I, th I will stick with Blaze for now. I think it's going to be a while until we can get something a bit better. Oh yeah, sneaking freeze. Nice, nice. Okay, let's summon Blaze again, just to 
help us out, get some more conjuration progress, you know, I mean, we don't really need Blaze just for a little fight like this, but she's still useful and it does give us uh, conjuration progress when we summon in battle, so. Yeah, and you can, by the way, uh, the way to level up your conjuration, uh, kind of grind it out, is you use the soul trap spell on a dead corpse, uh, and that for some reason levels up conjuration. <laughs> Which is pretty weird to be honest. I mean personally, I think they, they made it so that you can only do it in combat to so that you can't really grind it out. But I don't know, I, I think it makes perfect sense that you can grind conjuration by just summoning things over and over again because you are you know, you are practicing the spell. <laughs> you know, you are you know, if, if I just summon something over and over again, you know, whether I'm in combat or not, I am I am practicing. You know, I'm getting better at magic. And if that makes sense to me, but I don't know, I guess they didn't, because that's how it used to be in Oblivion. Oh wow, okay, someone did a lot of damage to me, I don't know who it was though. I don't know if that was just a combination of attacks, or if there's someone specifically in here that's really powerful that I need to watch out for, but... Yeah, nevertheless, we do need to be careful in here, there's a lot of people. Uh, how's Blaze doing? Oh, I think Blaze is dead, great, okay. <laughs> that's not a great start, can we, can we summon Blaze again? Pretty please? Okay, let's run away from this guy, can we... Oh my god, we are... We really need more magical regen. Uh, I mean, well, to be honest, well, oh no, okay, this guy has a frost sword, that is very bad. This man is throwing an arrow straight at us, which is also not good. Uh, let's uh, resist frost, uh, resist shock just in case, why not, right? Uh, we'll restore some of our stamina and we'll also do a little bit of healing and a bit of magicka, because yeah, we need more magicka. Yeah, we'll dodge that arrow, that's excellent, let's get rid of, get rid of some of these guys. We can get them all like in a group together. Then we can, because this is an AoE spell, so we can deal with them all at once. <laughs> Which is much better. This guy is really, really, really having a go, isn't he? Okay, let's get some healing in. And Blaze, can you, can you deal with the last one? I don't even know where they are. I mean, oh, there she, there she is. Ah, yes, I found my Gloom Lurker. Yeah, see? I knew there was someone powerful in here. I mean, can you, can you do something, please, Blaze? Oh, she's got a ward up as well, for God's sake. <laughs> Oh, oh, I think I just shot that straight past her, damn it. Yeah, see, the thing is, we can't, um, Yeah, we can't shout or attack with spells when she's got a stupid ward up, so... And our dagger is really shitty, so that's not gonna do anything. Damn it, put the ward down. Okay, you know what? I think we're gonna have to go in with our dagger. Because, yeah, our, uh, blaze is not gonna be doing anything either. Because uh, she only uses fire, and, of course, she can't get that past the ward, which is very annoying. What is earth is that? Is that like a... Uh, a, a storm cloak or something? I think so. Okay, she's not doing as much damage as I thought she would. She has slowed us though. Which is extremely annoying. <laughs> Let's uh, summon Blaze again. Can you help us out? Can you just put the ward down, please, love? Because that's yeah, it's really annoying when they ward. I do not like the wards at all. Okay. Oh my god, you can't even run. Forgot. No, don't, don't heal. Don't heal. She says not just heal. <laughs> uh, I hate it when enemies heal. It's so lame. But there we go. We have dispatched of her. Dispatched of her? Is that, is that the right phrase? Ah! The focusing crystal. Very unique looking item. Look at that. I love I love the way that looks actually. It kind of, it almost looks like an object that they made in full size and then shrunk. I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> but it, I don't know, it, 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 it feels detailed enough that they shrunk it. I, I don't know, maybe I'm just losing my mind, but I feel like that's what it looks like. So anyway, I will take all of your stuff. Thank you very much. Also take the opportunity to heal. Well done, Blaze. Good job. Got oh another master door over here. Okay. Uh, I think this is just a treasure room, but we will check it out anyway. Damn it! Come on, we are so close to first try there. Okay, never mind. <laughs> hey, we you know we got one master lock first try the other time, so uh, that was the best we're getting. Oh come on, where where is it? We were like right there. Is it literally like straight up at the top? Oh my god, it's literally like right in the middle. That's amazing. That never happens. But we've got another lock picking increase, which is excellent. Blaze is still coming along for the ride. Uh, we've got uh, this, this whole load of Falmo we didn't loot. They're not really going to have anything. They've just got a whole load of, you know, random random amounts of gold and stuff. But I think we need to go down here first because we need to go up there. But I think we need to look for a key still because um, I think that door is locked and we want to explore everything anyway. So there's a whole load of metals here which we will be coming back for. Um, or I will, I won't make you guys watch that. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you guys want to watch me uh, traipse, you know, in and out of the same dungeon 15 times, just picking up a whole load of different metals. So we've got a whole load of Falma here, which are already dead, which is not a great sign. And 
I don't know what's going to be in here. Ah, yes, okay, so we're not high enough level, but yeah, so it's actually just a little dwarf and spider guardian in here, but normally... Okay, wow, he's actually uh, a little bit difficult. Okay, fair enough, I spoke too soon. But usually when I come here, there's a dwarf and centurion in here, and he is quite difficult. <laughs> Although not really, to be honest, just because um, he can't fit through the door. <laughs> So you can actually just shoot him from a distance, because uh, yeah, he can't he can't get through to hit you, which is pretty funny. But yeah, we are not high enough level for the Centurion to spawn, so we just got a little Spider Guardian instead. So hey, good job though, you know, you did good job, you know, you did you did do some damage, so you know that, that's great. And thanks for letting me get some restoration progress as well. I do appreciate that. And in this chest, we have the Mazolft Observatory key, as well as iron garlets of minor archery and some other loot. Excellent. Got some more metals and stuff, and oh yeah, I may as well take these. How much carry weight have we got? Yeah, okay, we're pretty much, you know, getting pretty close to full here, so. We'll stop taking metals, and I will come back and do that, so. Let's get going, and we should now be able to complete this quest, and just in time for the end of the episode as well, which is excellent timing. I always love when that happens. You know, when a quest takes up the perfect amount of time to fulfill the episode, love that. So, we just gotta run all the way up this slope again. I don't really know where Blaze went. I guess she disappeared before we before we got to the Spider Guardian, but that's okay. She did her job, and that's that's what she's here to do. So, you know, five stars, five out of five. I'll uh, inform well, the play match because I don't have a Daedric Lord, but um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, I was gonna make some joke about, like, I'll inform, you know, your Daedric Lord that you did good service, but no, the play match because I don't have a Daedric Lord. I mean, some of them do work for Daedric Lords, but not all of them. <laughs> uh, not specified ones, some of them just choose to. But, up ahead, oh, we have another dead fowler. There's some stuff, and a locked door. G Gavros, is that you? I'd almost given up hope. Let me get the door. What the? What are you doing here? What have you done with Gavros? Your friend Gavros is dead. It was the Falmer, wasn't it? Curse them! They've ruined everything! If Gavros is gone, there is no hope. He was supposed to return with the crystal. Without that, all our efforts are wasted. And you, if you're here for treasure or wisdom or anything, I'm afraid you've wasted your time. What's this about a crystal? It didn't work the first time. I tried to tell Gavros, but he wouldn't listen. No, it won't be too cold, he said. Well, I was right, wasn't I? Focus completely wrong by the time we got here. The cold had warped it. Gavros had to cart it all the way back to Cyrodiil. Left the rest of us here to fend off the damnable Falmer. What's the crystal for? It was a brilliant idea, really. Mostly mine, though Gavros took the credit. Secret, though. Official Synod business. Can't talk about it. Oh, you'll be talking about it, trust me. <laughs> what are you doing here? I am on official business of the Grand Council of the Synod. That's all you need to know. I might well ask the same of you, running around by yourself in this dangerous place. I'm looking for the Staff of Magnus. Are you? Well, I'm afraid I can't help you with that. I need the crystal to do anything useful, and I don't have it. I happen to have found a focusing crystal. Is this what you were looking for? You found... How in the world? That's it? That's it? I don't know who you are, but you may have just saved this little project. In fact, who are you anyway? I'm with the College of Winterhold. You are, are you? Savos wouldn't even grant us an audience when we came to you. But now you come here expecting something from me? I don't much like this, I'll tell you. But you saved my skin, so maybe I can overlook the past for now. Come on, I'll explain on the way. No matter what Gavro said, this was my idea first. The Council is going to know that when I get back. I was the one who thought of using this... this oculory. I don't know what the dwarves called it. Something unpronounceable, I'm sure. From all our research, it seems they were intent on discerning the nature of the Divine. This machinery, all of it, was designed to collect starlight, and then, I'm not sure, split it somehow? 
It was my idea to replace one of the key elements with our focusing crystal. Months of enchantments went into it. Let's just hope they got it right this time. Yo, yeah, well, it's okay. I'm here now, buddy. So, uh, I'll figure it out. Trust me. I know you don't know this, but I am the main character. Uh, and therefore, when the main character comes, everything magically falls into place. Because, um, yeah, you're just actually an NPC. So that's that's why your life sucks, by the way. If, if you were wondering, that's that's why your life sucks. Because you're an NPC. So I'm just going to, you know, just, just give you a heads up there. You got anything else to say? Here it is. Magnificent, isn't it? Yeah, Took an cool. incredible amount of work to get it running again. Now I'm hoping it'll all be worth it. Place the crystal in the central apparatus, and we can start the process for focusing it. Okay. Place the crystal in the oculary. Very cool looking, by the way. Okay. Any any other instructions? Need something? <laughs> okay. Focus the oculary. I guess we're doing this ourselves. So, we have some buttons here, uh, which spin spin these wheels, so each one spins a different wheel. So we need to center the light on the the, the circles. <laughs> don't know what you call this. So we have some spells here, Frostbite and Flames. I think, do we already know those spells? I think so. Uh, magic and Destruction. Uh, we have Ice Spikes, so that's good, that's good enough. Uh, actually, no, I think, yeah, no. We you know what, we will, uh, we will learn Frostbite, we may as well. So, Frostbite, there we go. And now if we equip uh, we'll equip Frostbite in the left, or no, 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 okay, right hand and Flames in the left hand. So I think we need to cool it, because, oh, or maybe heat it, I don't know, because he was talking about it being too cold, so I don't know, if we cool it a bit, but yeah, you see it changes, it moves the, the position of the light beam, so if we move it, is that our, I don't know if that's about right, we need them to be in the center of these rings. Oh, is that right? That looks right, but that one's in the center. Okay, that one's already in the right place, great, and that one is also in the center, excellent. So yeah, I think the flames is just if you go too far, you can heat it back up to move them back again. Um, yeah, I, I kind of, uh, it's a bit weird that it's frost, I would have thought you needed to use flames, because it said it was too cold. But maybe you was talking about the other one that's too cold. I'm not sure. <laughs> Doesn't the journal say that it was too cold or whatever, or he talked about something being too cold? Yeah, now we just got to... Move, move the, push these buttons until the rings align. So the, mid, the, the bottom one is aligned, which needs to align the middle one. Almost there. <laughs> one more. And there we go. Years of work. Finally going to pay off. Yeah, but because What's of this? me. And because of me. These results, they're not at all what they should be. This projection should be lit up like the night sky. Looks pretty lit Something to me. Something is creating an incredible amount of interference. Something in Winterhold, it looks like. What are you playing at? Is this some attempt to stall my work? So what is it? What have you done? Did you know what we were attempting? Are you here to make sure your plan worked? That our efforts have been for nothing? Well, explain yourself. You better calm down. You and your college have ruined years of my work. I've lost colleagues and friends to the Falmer, and you want me to calm down? How did you do it? I truly have no idea what you're talking about. Either you're lying to me, or you have something at your college, don't you? Something immensely powerful, beyond anything I've anticipated. What is it? I'm not going to answer that. So you do have something, then. Whether this was intentional or not, it suggests some interesting results. What are you talking about? You're looking for something, yes? The Staff of Magnus. Well, even if you are trying to ruin my work, there's still something to be learned here. I can't explain the details. That would be giving away many secrets the Synod have learned over the years. Also, I doubt you'd be able to comprehend the details. Have you seen the orrery in the Imperial City? It was the inspiration for this idea. Instead of projecting the sky, we project all of Tamriel, and then harness the latent energies to overlay the positions of... What's important is that all of this work was designed to reveal to us sources of great magical power. Purely to help safeguard the Empire, of course. And yet, in the end, only two locations have been revealed to us. 
One is your college. The other, well, that can only be Labyrinthian. So, mage from Winterhold, despite your intentions, I've beaten your little game. Even if all you've said here is lies, I know you have something in Winterhold the Synod Council will be very interested in. So fine, trudge off to Labyrinthian in search of your staff. I shall return to Cyrodiil and deliver my full report to the Council. This is not over, I assure you. You know, it's really cute that you think you're important enough for me to, you know, come all this way just to meddle with your silly little project. <laughs> you know, we kind of have like, I mean, there's dragons coming back. We've got like a massive floating orb in the college right now. Um, and you think I'm here to ruin your project? Maybe take yourself down a peg or two, Paratus. Because yeah, it's, it's not all about you. I think you've been in here too long. You're crazy. Am I? Am I? I think I've discovered more here than I could have hoped to. Your trickery won't confuse me. Yeah. <laughs> so the staff of Magnus is in Labyrinthian? Well, yes. Probably. I mean, yes. Certainly it is. But that doesn't matter now, because I know you're hoarding something even more important at your college. The Council will be informed of this. They will find out what you're up to. Yeah, they they, I think they we're won't. Done here. Yeah, we we are done here, Paratus, and I'm afraid I cannot let you leave here Go alive. Then. Not only Back because you are clearly insane, but you are threatening me with mean, meaningless me, meaningless things. And yeah, I can't can't let you tell anyone about our very shiny floating orb. Uh, oh, I see you. I see you have a flame action act as well. Does yours have a name? Because uh, uh, Orphon didn't want to tell me the name of his, uh, and I think Blaze wants a friend. So uh, oh, he's using shock magic. Okay. Well, if you're going to be like that, we're going to use our steel dagger. We're just going to kill you the old-fashioned way. Oh, you got like a, a flesh spell. That's cute. Uh, it's not, it's not going to save you from a dagger, though. Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, you're going to heal to the full? That's not cool. Oh, wow. I think it's out of magic. <laughs> well, if you're out of magic. <laughs> oh, you. Oh, my God. Okay. Jesus Christ. This is a much harder fight than I thought it was going to be. I'll issue some resists and then heal up a little bit. Hey Jesus, okay. Fair enough, Paradis, you're a little bit, little bit tougher than I thought. He's got some sort of, like, regeneration going. There we go, that was a little bit more difficult than I thought it was going to be. And he doesn't even have anything. Doesn't even have anything. How very disappointing, Paradis. Yeah, he was nuts, we're not going to let that slide, not at all. You can't talk to us like that. We are the Dragonborn, after all. So. We have now found out where the Staff of Magnus is. It is apparently in Labyrinthian. Also dealt with a rival mage. You know, it just needed to be done. You know, needed to be done. So, for now, I'm going to leave this episode here. In the next episode, we'll head back to the college and see what they want us to do with this new information. And, yeah, for now, we're going to leave this episode here. So, I hope you have enjoyed. Like, if you have, subscribe if you would like to see more. And I will see you in the next episode.